Hey guys, it's me Franny and today I am doing a video, my first ever video on empties. Okay, I told my husband that I was doing this video and he was like, that's weird. And I was like, it's beauty, it's, it's whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to go right into the video and I'm going to tell you, I've seen these videos before and I really like these types of videos because they kind of like, you know, I like them. So, I'm going to start off with something that I spoke to you guys about before and it all these, all these products that I'm going to show you are completely drugstore, okay? So, the first product I'm going to show you is my shampoo. Um, it is the OGX Organics. Um, anti-breakage keratin oil shampoo and conditioner they also have styling products as well which I'm gonna which are in my empties as well I really like this shampoo this is nourishing it is sulfate free paraben free it's also the the material that they use to um, put the product in is also recyclable and it's not tested on animals so really great product and it is quite affordable if you go to Harman you this little 50% more um, size which is 19.5 fluid ounces is actually going to be $5.99 I know if you could find it the smaller size which is 13 ounces is going to be um, $5.99 and if you get the tallest size which is like 25.4 ounces that's gonna be $10.99 so that's still these last me months okay the next one since we're gonna stay in hair care is the coconut oil weightless hydrating oil mist I really like this stuff. This is great. How you use it is you, after your hair is, after you washed and shampooed your hair, you come out of the shower, you're just going to spray this into your hair, babies. And, um, you know, after your hair is, you know, um, towel dried, you're just going to spray this into there. Not too much, you know what I'm saying? Because this is, this does have coconut oil, so you don't want to put too much in it. But really nice to keep your hair, your, um, your hair hydrated and not dry. This, I love this stuff. I stopped using it, but I think I might actually go back to it. This is a Brazilian Keratin Therapy Flat Iron Spray. They also have a shampoo conditioner of the same name that has the same same packaging. So it's in it's from from OGX, excuse me. These I think are usually six six ninety nine in Harman. If you go to Wal Walgreens, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Walmart again, it's like about sixty nine ninety nine six nine six ninety nine. And there's six fluid ounces. You just spray this in your hair. It's a heat protectant. You spray it in your hair before you flat iron your hair. Pretty simple. Okay, moving on to the rest of the stuff is um makeup empties, but I'm gonna go into my set fill. Um, and those products I really liked. This one I wasn't crazy about. This does not travel well because this cap, I always felt that the product the product always came out. This is the set of fill. Uh, moisturizing lotion. The lotion itself was okay. It's a lightweight lotion. It is good. Like, let's say you want to have a lotion before you put your makeup on. It is good. These little travel sizes, I think, are usually like $1.99. They sell them pretty much every, everywhere, and it says for all skin types. You know what I'm saying? So, that's pretty much pretty basic, guys. Now, if you saw my makeup tutorial video that I put up early today, you'll notice that this is the same thing. This is the Maybelline Master Prime, and this is in the blur redness control okay I normally have the blur and smooth they were sold out of it that time and then I happen to get this one I really like this stuff this is really good so if you if you can't find that one and you want to get this one I really recommend this this doesn't say that it, it all that it's really supposed to do is prep your skin it blurs out the imperfection the tones the fine lines and everything like that and it's I have combination oily skin it works really good and it, I feel it moisturizes and it actually prolongs my foundation so that's why I like this this the packaging broke let me explain this is the wet n wild color icon bronzer in the color ticket to Brazil as you can tell it's completely gone I haven't bought this in a while because of the another empty I'm gonna show you but I really do like this this is a great bronzer I am going to say um, since it is completely empty, you can see what the product was, what the, you know, what it looked like. But I am going to say it's really affordable. It is around like four, less than $5 and you get a lot of product. You get like 0.43 ounces, which is a lot of product for a bronzer. The only thing I will say that I will warn about you guys is that this has some sparkle to it. 
So if you're looking for a contour, I would not recommend, you know, it's completely up to you. But I think like more, what I'm going to show you next is better for that, okay? And it is the, I love this stuff. This, I've purchased this three times. I love it. This is the Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the color... Uh, Dulce de Leche. I love this stuff. This has, on one side, has a um, bronzer. The other side has the highlight. This is matte. This, excuse me, this is, um, yeah, it's, it's shiny. It's not shiny, excuse me. It's not shiny. It has a nice finish. So it, this is going to be um, not, not shiny at all. It's cool. Um, and the highlight powder, really nice for underneath your eyes in a pinch. And great to, you know, um, bring that high, that that contour out. There's even little pic pictures on the back if you're unsure about getting into contouring. So another reason why I like this. It really great product. Just because something is a dr at the drugstore and really affordable, don't just sign it off and say, oh, that's cheap. I'm not buying it. No. A lot of also a lot of makeup gurus I've seen on YouTube actually like this as well. Um, so I would say give it a try. And you get a lot of product. You get point zero point four ounce four four ounces. It is around the same as this, but it does last a long time. Very pigmented, very nice. On to some more makeup, guys. Okay. My elf. I love my elf. Um, the only reason why I haven't repurchased this is because I'm still going through the e.l.f. blush palette. But this is the e.l.f. blush. These little single blushes are only $3. Excuse the, that they're messy because they're always in my makeup bag and stuff like that. This is in the color... I don't even know what color it is. I'm going to be honest with you. But it's like a mauve color, as you can see. Really, really nice. Um... So I really like this one. I know there's a little bit of product in it, but there's not enough for me to like use it because it's all broken and stuff like that. But I love it. I will probably repurchase this again. It's, you know, I might even use the little last bit. It's really nice, really affordable, and it even comes with a little, tiny little mirror in there, you know. So another one I love. Oh, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite Elf blush. This is also three dollars. I love the packaging. See the little mirror? See? Something gone. And this is Pink Passion. You guys can see. It's really a nice pink. Some people, some might say Barbie pink, but I think it's really nice. My two mascaras that I found that I really like from L'Oreal, and I think actually, I might actually go back to repurchasing these because I think these were probably my favorites from L'Oreal. They are the Miss Manga Mascaras, okay? I know the packaging, and I know the actual wand looks a little bit like, <laughs> you know, let it, like, wiggles and stuff like that. I actually like this. I think this gives you a lot of nice volume. Some people might say it has, like, a, a Christmas tree look. Um, this is a natural bristle brush as well. Um, the Voluminous is a brand that's been around for a long time uh, in regards to L'Oreal. So they extended their brand with the Miss Manga. I love the packaging as well. It's like so cute. Um, and I'm kind of impressed that the actual wording is still on there. I've had this for months, months, like I don't even know how long. Um, and also the Miss Manga Voluminous. I always get my mascaras in waterproof. That's just my rule. You don't have to do that, but that's just how I feel personally. The Voluminous Waterproof Miss Manga Rock. Okay, it's in yellow. Similar brush. But this brush is plastic, okay? This is a plastic applicator. Um, as you can see, there's all different types of lengths and you know what I'm saying? So it's a similar type of, um, I'll show you real quick. A similar type of design, but a little different. Okay? So I like both of them. I've used both of them together. Um, but some people would say, you know, use a volumizing mascara and then use a lengthening mascara, you know. So, I'm also one, I've also, since I'm a mascara addict, um, I am going also, I also want to try the Maybelline, um, uh, Push Up Angel Mascara. I really want to try that one because they've been coming out with really nice mascaras. Okay, our last little product, guys. Last one. It is the L'Oreal infallible pro spray and set 
okay? This has 3.4 fluid ounces. Back in the day, I have heard, I've never done this, but I heard back in the day they used to use hairspray, like, like makeup artists, you know, used to use hairspray to lock in that, that look, you know what I'm saying, um, for makeup. I've never done that. I would not recommend doing that unless you're a professional, but you know, going into, they used to have only high-end uh, makeup setting sprays, which are like $35, maybe even more. Uh, I know Scandinavia makes one. I know that a lot of the brands are like sister companies. I know that Kat Von D has one. I know that there's a lot of high-end makeup setting sprays. So I never tried a makeup setting spray. This one, I am going to say it is one of the more expensive drugstore makeup setting sprays. But it does have the most product in there. Um, I'm also going to say this. It does kind of have like a baby wipe scent. When it comes to certain products, it does go away. When it comes to certain products, I think you have to kind of like realize that you are going to be dealing with certain scents and, and all that other stuff. So you kind of have to deal with that. Um, it is a nice mist. Let's see if there's anything left. Oh, there is. <laughs> there is a nice mist. If you could see that. Okay. Um, so it's like not that much in there. There is a nice mist to it. Um, you can, you basically have to use this after your makeup. Okay. The problem with using it before your makeup is there is alcohol in here as one of the first ingredients that can dry out your skin. Okay. That can dry out your skin, give you dry patches. And then when you put on your foundation, the, it, your foundation is going to stick to those dry patches. So I've tried it. I've been trying it with the Maybelline one and the Maybelline and the L'Oreal, in my opinion, you get the same amount of product. This one is more expensive. It's usually like $16.99, maybe even $17.99. They do have a smaller one that I've seen for like one fluid ounce for a little bit cheaper. That's if you want to try, that's a good idea if you want to try it out. And I think it's like under $10. Um, and then you want to commit to this, but it does last for months. It is good. It's great for like it for an event. The makeup that I normally do in my, as you saw in the, my makeup tutorial, um, it lasts all day. I'm going to be completely honest. It lasts all day. So I only use makeup setting sprays when I'm going to an event or let's say in the summertime when I really want to really lock in my look, you know? It's not necessary. I don't think you need to use makeup setting sprays every day. It's just completely up to you. You know what I'm saying? It's completely up to you. It's also like where you live, your climate, because you may live in a climate where it's a little bit more hot. I live in New York and you may feel that you need to wear a makeup setting spray every single day. So it's completely up to you. Makeup, you got to have fun with it. But if you can't find this one, Maybelline is a sister company to L'Oreal. So the Maybelline makeup setting spray, I have it. It's exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. And it's a few dollars cheaper. I think it's like $12.99, $13.99 at Ulta. You know what I'm saying? So, if you guys would like me to do another empties video, I would love to do it. Um, I could do it on different products. I'm probably going to really stay with the drugstore products. Um, yeah, meaning the like makeup and beauty products and stuff like that. Um, but I really had fun doing this video. I hope you guys liked it as well. Um, and just let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Have you tried these products at all? Did you like them? Did you not like them? Um, it, if there's something that you would like me to try and give my thoughts on as well, if anything, you know, just let me know, okay? So tell me in the comments, subscribe, and just let's keep this going, okay? Have a good day, guys.